begin tonight with a look at the Bossier City police officer shot multiple times and recovering in a local hospital tonight. He's Kenny Gallen. He was hit three times during a violent encounter with a wanted murder suspect at the Valero gas station on Industrial Drive yesterday morning. He's a seven year veteran of the Bossier City Police Force. Well, tonight we're told that he is continuing his recovery and taking steps with every hour that passes. Well, today, Bossier City Police released new information about what happened at that gas station during what they describe as an armed robbery attempt during this suspect's run from justice across state lines. KSLA News 12's Jasmine Franklin live outside the gas station where everything happened. Uh, police had a news conference today, 3 o'clock, and filled in some of those gaps. Yes, that's right, Doug. I'm here outside of the Valero gas station. It actually seems like a normal day here, but chaos erupted here at this gas station yesterday with that deadly shooting where two people were killed here. Now, what we do know is that that press conference that happened earlier today is where police released the names of those two victims that were killed yesterday. Now, the robbery that ha the attempted robbery that happened yesterday came after a shots fired call yesterday morning that came at around 10:30 a.m. When police arrived, there was an exchange of gunfire between the suspect and police. Inside, two people were fatally shot outside. One officer was shot, and as you mentioned, he is recovering in the hospital. Now, those two victims have been identified as Joshua Ryan Kalk, who was 47 years old, and Jariah Hamilton, who was 37 years old. Kalk was a customer, and Hamilton was a cashier. Police have arrested Cortell Burks as the suspect and say he faces first degree homicide charges and more charges are coming. Mayor Chandler was on the scene yesterday at the shooting and he also spoke at the press conference earlier today. I wanted to be here personally to express sincere prayers and condolences to those that were injured and lost their lives during this incident. Please allow me to say how proud I am of our police department and our fire department and all supporting agencies and the excellent job that they did to protect our citizens and arrest the person responsible for these crimes. Now I spoke with the manager I spoke with the manager of the Valero gas station earlier today, and she describes her employee Hamilton as very nice and kind, and she says he was very new on the job as a cashier. Live in Bossier City, Jasmine Franklin, KSLA News 12. And our coverage continues at 6, so we'll also hear from one of the first Bossier City police officers on scene who helped save lives.